I'm on like this, eh? <laughs> anyway, they watch this video from Happy New Week to you. Now, one of the things where many people blaster blaster Buari for that time when they doing the J power that time. I say, man, they say as Buari you have power. I say, but you the now only people will come from north. Say, but you they give appointment. See, almost all these big big office for this country carry him. He give northerners. Nah, nah. If you look at the tap power, so if you notice that, so we tell the sub so all the big big offices for the country, so Baba do the pack and give people who come from west. Nah, nah. This done a ballad of boss and now they come back, come complete him. People who boss are they complete that time say why Peter why uh, 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 Buari they then nepotistic with the appointment. Same thing now they not as the appointment. Same now where their brother don't they do the same thing now nah, they say they don't they, they don't lock up like a con. So you don't come and say, make the come and go talk. Oh. But personally, I don't see any man, you not concern me anywhere you want to point anybody from. What it concern me now, whoever you they put for any position, make the person they competent and make the person fit deliver on the office where you put them. Because even the people be want support, I not support them because they come from anywhere, I support them because they are physically they competent and they get good record. You understand? So that's not my personal opinion. You watch the video now, so then let us know your opinion. What do you think about this if you look at appointment they appoint so far? Drop out the comments and don't forget to also share this video. So let's get right into this. And I'll begin with Mr. Boala. Because the opposition, yes, might not be in major government, but you're on the sidelines watching how the government is carrying on with governance. And you particularly have kicked against some of President Tinubu's appointments. I'd like you to break this down for us so we can have this conversation. Is it a question of size? Is it a question of capability? What exactly is it for you? Well, um, thank you for having me and good evening to Nigerians. When uh, the appointment of a uh, minister started, I think I did not hide my feelings or opinion on the matter, but I'm one of the over 200 million Nigerians. And I felt that, uh, uh, that the administration at that time uh, was not looking at competence, so to speak. And the other part of it is that they also not, he wasn't also looking at the loyalty of members of the party because we have seen how other people were appointed who uh, you can beat your chest and say they did not uh, work enough as compared to many others who are capable. I, made, I maintain the position that it is a case of square peg and round holes and uh, we have seen it at least the past few weeks which have commenced. There are quite a number of them we haven't seen them operate yet because you know their ministries have not been called to duty. But there are some of them that have started operating. And I think that uh, it is evident at the moment that a lot of them are yet to understand uh, the intricacies of the ministry. But what ha happened in this month of September even escalate the conversation further that it's not just the issue of a round pig and pair, uh, square holes, it is also the question of nepotism. And I, I, permit, I permit me one minute, let me give you a background. You see, uh, in the month of September, this September, iPhone company, Apple company released iPhone. They call, the, the biggest of it all, they call it iPhone 15 Pro Max. They said it is the escalation and the improvement of that iPhone over and above the previous ones. APC as a political party was the party that commenced this idea of nepotism in government. I remember when President Buhari was in power, people complained about nepotism, nepotism, even though some of his people could put up a defense to show you in a whole appointment and to prove to you that the South West got more during his time, only that in specific areas you have people in the North. But that argument could not sail through. But he left in 2015. So it's like iPhone 13 Pro Max. By the time President Bola Metinibu took over, he's not even exceed iPhone 14. And he went straight to iPhone 15 Pro Max in the sense that his appointment has not only generated the conversation around the country that the government is being constituted to concentrate in one part of the country over and above others. In the case of Buhari, you could argue that he favored the North as people have canvassed. But when you go to the North, you see that it is populated by North East, North West, and North South. There was a democratic uh, appointment there. But when it came to this present government, if you look at it, the South East and the South South are left behind. The dominance of the appointment is in the Southwest. Then even when you go further, 
in the southwest and you begin the conversation there are quite a number of people in the southwest who will tell you that the appointment was concentrated in lagos and even when there was need to appoint people who come from other parts of the southwest other than lagos choices were made for the lagos boys is over and above these other states where you had the grassroots people that work for the party. In a nutshell, right. the appointment is projecting. The constitution says the government must not be running away that it will reflect the dominance of one part of the country over the other. Ordinarily, we shouldn't be even talking about where does the person come from. We should be talking about performance. But heck, this is where we are as a country. We've come to a point where performance has failed a lot of people, and then we are now talking about the idea of a government being constituted which does not reflect the unity right. of Nigeria. Yeah. So, Mr. Boala, let's bring in uh, Mr. Liu Aldu to get his response to this one, because he is one of the vibrant youths in the APC, part of people who championed the APC rebirth, which of course saw this government coming in and... I mean, you had promised quite a number of things. Now, hearing what Mr. Boala has said, directly speaking to the appointment, he thinks that this is even nepotism taking a notch higher. What is your response, Mr. Ardu? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please, Mr. Ardu. Please go ahead. All right. Okay, I, I mean, I, I, I quite heard him. And um, like I've always said, at some point we're going to have to tell ourselves um, if what we want is a country that works or a country that um, keeps living its primordial sentiment. Before the election, a whole lot happened. And um, I mean, that even led to some people leaving the party to, in, in protest of, um, you know, candidature. I mean... We've had this time and time again, every time there is a government change. During um, former President Goodluck Jonathan, I remember all, um, all of the complaints about certain sector of the economy being manned by people from a particular part of the country. Under former President Muhammad Buhari was the same thing. And now we are back to it again. At each of those two times in the previous, in, in, in the previous times, at the end of their tenure, there was never a point that anyone from any part of the country could say that, um, you know, if a particular set of people or a region were, 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 were doing any better than the other region anyway. And it, 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 it you know, ask this question of us, like, what do we really want to achieve by, you know, going at all of this? When we say this, every time we say this, what is the goal? You know, if we want a country that works, then we want people who can do the job to come from any part of the country to do that job. And it is the prerogative of the president. I mean, the, the, the constitution is, is very clear on the mandatory part of appointment. And if we have complaint about the president not meeting up, up, meeting up with that requirement of the constitution, then we have a valid point. But when we come to express sentiments, primordial sentiments at that, and I mean, we've got to stop at some point and just look for effectiveness and trust in the man we have voted to, 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 deal, to take us to where we need to be as a nation. Irrespective of where anybody is from, north, south, west, east, every single person that is going to be appointed or is already appointed is, is going to be a Nigerian. And as we speak, we know the, 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 the appointment are still coming in. And um, I mean, it is too early to start sizing up how many, what percentage of the, of the, of the total appointments for one part of the country. At the beginning of President, former President Muhammad Buhari's government, there was so much talked about it being not an eye. But in the end, we realized that the Southwest had more percentage of, um, I mean, appointment distribution. When we go by geopolitical zone, Southwest had more than, than even the Northwest that the former president was from. So what I'm saying is, yes, we see some of this. Um, we see the fact that the number of names coming up from the Southwest, we must have faith that, you know, the man doesn't want to fail. We do don't you want agree? Him to like he's not a man who likes. Uh, uh, Mr. Aldo, do you agree with the, the point he made uh, that uh, he used the term Lagos boys uh, have, uh, have been appointed mainly uh, by the president in recent times? Is, is that something you agree with uh, people who had worked with the president before? Is there an explanation as to that? And particularly, how's the party taking it? It's, it's, it's I mean, uh, it, it's coming from the PDP, so we don't expect any less. I mean, you know, the, 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 the down there, they're just hanging on to anything they think they can to pull them out. I mean, the party is pretty much in shape. 
Like I've said time and time again, we have our internal check system, internal monitoring system with which we question what our government does at the center. You know, we have internal processes. We question all that needs to be questioned, but this isn't, isn't I mean, it hasn't, it hasn't made it up to, you know, we have threshold that we've set to, to, to trigger that question to be asked within the system. You know, what, whatever it is he's holding on to hasn't quite made it up to that point yet. All right, let's go back to Mr. Boala. And it's good that you're a lawyer, uh, Mr. Boala, so you can help us understand what the Constitution says about appointments. We've seen the president appoint ministers. There's a constitutional provision for the appointment of ministers, how states must be represented and then there's the other appointments for agencies and the rest which some have said that it's at the president's prerogative what does the law really say and which part of the law do you think the president is breaking with these appointments mr Boala? so this is in my view the, the 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 crux of the matter oftentimes when issue is raised like that people ask the question whether it is legal or not legal whether a law is broken or a law is not broken now the constitution is a very broad document there is the aspect of the constitution that talks about minister coming from every state then there is the as aspect of the constitution in fact section 14 that talks about governance must be structured in a manner that it will reflect diversity and the unity of the country now if somebody does not obey that is it justiciable it has not been it has not been tested and you're most likely not going to get an outcome but the whole idea of a nation is about commanding national loyalty because if you look at section 14 it also says so that it will command national loyalty that is the crux of national security that the people of the country are loyal to the country because they believe that the country reflects the diversity of the people and the country respects the diversities of Nigeria. Take, for example, the Southeast. Apart from the constitutionally guaranteed appointment that they have, which is five, five for five, they have not gotten anything significant. As a matter of fact, apart from Minister for Works, all the other appointments that are given to them, the appointment that people could sit down and tell you it is not significant. The question you have, so if you talk about law or not law, why is the Southeast particularly not taken into consideration in this? Then you can stretch it to other parts of Nigeria, right? Like the North Central as well. They also complain about that. Now, when a government is in power, and I often hear the argument that the man does not want to fail, allow him to choose whoever he wants to choose, as if he cannot find the same competent people in every part of Nigeria. You can have equal distribution of position and have equal competent people in every part of the country. So if you want to give an argument to counter this concerns that Nigerians are raising, I think that that part of argument will not be strong enough because there is no, except if you are insinuating, that apart from this part of the country that he has selected the people majorly from, the rest of the other parts of the country do not have the people that can help him succeed when you say you don't want him to fail. So if he does not choose all of these people or the volume of these people from this part and he attempts all other part, that there is likelihood that he may not succeed. But absurdity and this is where for example politics is is matched with governance when you bring in for example technocrats people who have never participated in politics you need to understand the reason why political appointment are balanced within technocrat and politicians is because the whole idea of politics is an association of like minds that come together with an ideology to take control of power with the aim of delivering on the good governance to the Nigerian people. There is no defense to that. Now, I don't particularly want to say uh, Tinibu as a person is someone who has been known for this nep nepotistic uh, kind of uh, uh, operation. But you see, once you come into Villa, a different spirit comes on you or operates around there. And that is exactly what we are seeing. But I am not surprised because he said, I will replicate what I did in Lagos. Some people did not know. So he has replicated it in the center by bringing the Lagos movies. Then secondly, why are you surprised when he said, Emilio Kuhn, it is my turn? So whatever he does, and, and, and in my humble view and with the greatest respect, I am appealing to the president to be himself in the governance of the affairs of the country and not allow 
influences that are not particularly protecting the national security interests of government, you know, in carrying out the affairs of government. There is no justification for that because there are parts of this country that are ignored. In fact, you can even, even when we go further to interrogate on the competence or compatibility of these individuals, that people say he doesn't want to fail. Most of these people, we applaud them, we celebrate them, but look at their last place of work. Some of them ran bank that went aground. Some of them held positions that went aground. And you can find in every part of Nigeria equal bankers, equal economists, equal lawyers, and in every part. So, to me, when you look at a government that is being constituted in this kind of way, you may not be able to command the loyalty of the people. And loyalty is key in legitimacy. Loyalty is key in government. Parts have been neglected. Uh, are there some parts you know specifically? Maybe you're from Borno State. Is your state being neglected in what way particularly? Just before I take this to Mr. Aldo quickly now. I am not, not here to talk about my state. I, my state has produced the vice president, and the vice president is a competent, competent person, a person who has vast experience, and I respect that. And uh, my, my, I also know that uh, there is a minister that is represented from my state. It's not about me. We have gone beyond making argument for your state. We are talking about national unity. We are talking about moving the country beyond on this primordial consideration. And with, you can never fulfill the idea of the Nigerian dream operating from this kind of way. We thought that Buhari's administration, which was loud, in fact, there are people who can make the argument that Buhari made, if you look at overall, more appointments in the South West than in any part of the geopolitical zones. It's okay. arguable, but people have facts to support that. So let me take this back but to In Mr. this case, President Bola, working in that line.